Hello everyone, it's Brett Klinerman from Holder Manager and in this video I'm going to cover quick filters, recent filters, and saved filters. I'm even going to stack seven filters on top of each other at the very end of this video to show you how powerful basic hand filtering in Holder Manager can be. If you are new to Holder Manager or just getting started with filtering, definitely start with the quick filters here. If you don't see the quick filters, you probably click the graph button. And all you need to do to get them back is to click the filter icon here and select quick filters. The Holder Manager team put these quick filters here because they felt they are the most commonly used filters players will use. There is no way to add to the quick filters, but you can save any filter you want and it will be placed in the saved filter list here. Maybe you play a combination of Omaha and Hold'em, or you play different stakes, or maybe you just made an amazing filter that took a while to make and you know you're going to use it later. Once the filter is in the filter bar, press the save icon here, name it, and it will be placed in your saved filters. I just added the No Limit Hold'em 25 cent 50 cent filter here. Press the red X on a saved filter to delete that filter from the saved filter list. Let me open a new report and we'll add the filter we just saved. Watch the hand counts change as I add the No Limit 25 cent 50 cent filter we just saved. Now my report removed every hand that is not a no limit hold'em, 25 cent, 50 cent hand. Recent filters will list all the recent filters you've used. Oh, and look at that. It even added our no limit 25 cent, 50 cent filter. Notice when I hover over a quick filter that we have a few more options. HM3 uses and slash or separators when stacking filters. I'm going to demonstrate this with the 3-bet and 4-bet filter. If I just click both filters, we don't get any hands back because you can't 3-bet and 4-bet in the same hand. So let's clear the filter and hold the ALT key as we click the 4-bet filter now. HM3 uses the OR separator and now we see every hand where we 3-bet or 4-bet. I'm going to clear the filter one more time and click the 3-bet and 4-bet filter so HM3 uses the AND separator. Now instead of rebuilding the filter from scratch, you can edit the filter. Highlight the AND part of the filter and type in OR. Press ENTER and now the filter is displaying both 3-bet and 4-bet hands. All filters in Holder Manager are stackable. Be careful when stacking filters because it's super easy to filter and not get any hands returned. I'm going to clear my filters and stack three filters together. I'm going to add my No Limit 25 cent 50 cent filter that we saved. Now I'm going to move over to the quick filters and add a 3-bet filter. Now let's go ahead and add the double barrel filter, which means I see that on the flop and turn. If I click the filter bar, we can see how the filter was made. Even though we only use three filters, there's actually six filters used here. Here's some bonus content for this video. Three betting and double barreling is a very strong line to take, right? I'm going to add the river action equals fold filter now using the autocomplete filter form at the top. Look at that, only one hand returned, but definitely a hand I want to review. Start slow when making filters and don't get too specific at first. The last video in this series will cover the autocomplete filter form at the top that I just used to make the river fold filter. In the next video, I'll be covering all the basic filters in the main filter editor. Thanks for watching and we'll see you at the tables.